Hey everybody. Wow, it's him. It's the guy, it's the... Doctor Who Twink. So I'm sure you have more than a few questions or concerns or, or just curious about what's going on with me and where I've been, what's going on, whatever bullshit, yeah. Uh, I, I hope to address them and just generally uh, put something out there again. I've kind of missed making YouTube videos, being able to say you know, shit that's going on. I kind of miss doing that, so... Yay! It's happening! Right, so first thing on the agenda is the new Doctor Who video essay I'm working on. You may or may not know about it, because I made a community post, but basically... Uh, we should probably explain that. It's basically about the new Doctor Who series that came out this year. It was Nshuti... How do you pronounce his fucking name? Nshuti. 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 So yeah, it was of course Nshuti's first season, uh, his debut, if you will, so it was a very exciting time to be a Doctor Who fan, a lot of new things were happening, and of course the 60th anniversary specials were also happening last year, now I can say. So, um, basically, making a video talking about those new episodes in a long-form format, so hopefully what all of you guys have been waiting for, and I'm very excited to be able to keep doing it, one of my favorite things to do on the planet is make those videos, both in writing them and just expressing my opinions on Doctor Who, but also just editing them and making them fun and enjoyable, and hopefully um, a reasonable, logical uh, presentation of someone's opinions that hopefully people can get behind. So in saying that, basically, the video is going to be very long, longer than the remastered video essay, which is already three fucking hours. It's probably going to be about three, four hours long. Um, we'll see, I'm still sort of figuring that out, building it as I go, but, uh, basically the idea is I'm, I'm giving an in-depth, uh, highly edited review of the new episodes, each in its own sort of chapter, if you will, but, uh, not just comprising, you know, a video essay talking over footage, I'm doing, uh, live-action stuff, I'm incorporating memes, I'm doing bits, uh, incorporating my actual blind reactions to the episodes. It's gonna be basically a mega episode on everything that I've been surrounded with in these new specials. So you'll hopefully get an eye into what Gen Z is, <laughs> how Gen Z is consuming these episodes if you're not in that crowd. Um, or it'll hopefully connect with you if you are in that crowd as I am. So yeah, the main goal is for it to be, you know, a logical presentation of argument, but also for it to be just entertaining and fun for people that aren't really into, you know, fucking analyzing every single pixel of this show and just enjoy it as a, a fun sci-fi adventure that it is. I think it's one of the strongest, most interesting aspects of this very niche and creative, uh, innovative, sometimes experimental show is that it is widely applicable to so many different people for so many different reasons. And it's, it's something that in the course of time after putting out the remastered video essay, I've grown to appreciate about just life in general is how, how, how big it is and how cool it is that we all have so many different ways to engage with life itself. It's, it's pretty wild. So I, I hope to capture my perspective kind of sort of distilled. Um, as best I can in this video and it can be a work that I'm very proud of and that people will enjoy that's always what I make content for so yeah I'm currently working on my review of wild blue yonder um, sort of midway through that no spoilers I won't even give you hints of my opinions on it I won't even give you a tier list placement or anything but uh, that is about an hour of the way through into the video so I basically I have an hour of the video done, and that's being generous, because some of that is not really flushed out yet. Um, so then I, of course, have The Giggle, The Church on Ruby Road, and from there, we'll incorporate my actual blind reactions to the episodes, going all the way to Empire of Death. Um, it's probably going to be, yeah, again, about three, four hours, so being generous, um, yeah, like 25% done, sure, but I, I have a feeling it's going to be a bit longer than that. I am going to sort of postpone that video and its release date for the foreseeable future. I might end up having to incorporate the new Christmas special that's coming out, of course, at the end of this year into that to sort of keep up with what's happening. So it might be another Christmas release. We'll see. Probably not because I am currently swamped in my junior year of university and the curriculum is pretty 
comprehensive, let's say. But sort of to, to prioritize my own studies, um, my own creative channels, and just make sure the video isn't rushed, and it's something that I can be proud of, of course. I'm just gonna postpone that. I'm sure no one's too pissed off. I'm still working on it behind the scenes, and I can guarantee, promise you, that it's something that you will want to watch if you're a fan of the stuff I make, of course. Also, the new setup. This isn't really new, it's been here for like eight months, but uh, I moved into this apartment in January, so. There you go, purple, purple wall padding. Shit. <laughs> so yeah, it's my junior year, almost, almost at the finish line. Three more semesters, <laughs> three more semesters. Um, and starting next spring, I'm officially done with all my core prerequisites. So it's all going to be just art stuff, which is super fun. I love doing art. Um, let me see if I can actually show you guys some stuff I've made. Now, if you follow me on Steam or Instagram, you'll have seen some of this stuff. But uh, this is my amazing... Guys, this is super cool. I get to do a sketchbook reveal. This is my super cool UK... Um, sketchbook that I bought in, hang on, it's, I bought it in a very famous London shopping center, it's a square, was it Leicester Square? I think it might have been, I can't remember, but yeah, I bought this in, uh, the UK when I was studying there abroad, which is a part of the, the new video essay that I'm making. But if you didn't know, I did study abroad in London all of last fall. Um, and I kept the sticker on it. Nine pounds. Nine. Nine pounds, 95. Cents. <laughs> it's not pence, is it? British pence? Pence. Pence. Is that a cent? Unit of currency and denomination of sterling coinage worth one one hundredth of one pound. You have pence. Ninety-five pence. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah. Nine pounds, ninety-five pence. Sketchbook. Art sketchbook. Um, very cool. I should really just put images of these because they're not going to show up well on camera. They're, they're drawing pencil. And because of the glare coming in from the evening light, it's going to... won't look as good. But here's George Harrison. Put up a picture. And this is a new face, and it's what I'm working on right now. This is a, a British artist that I have recently got very interested in. Jacob Collier from North London. And he's uh, he's just, he makes really cool music. And I think he, he carries a message not dissimilar to the message that I really value in Doctor Who, which is just spreading love and peace and kindness and just being a positive force for good. If you are not familiar with him, perhaps not his music, but at least his character, I think... If you enjoy Doctor Who and just being a good person, I think he's he's a very positive influence, and I, I'm I'm pretty ingratiated with his output. It's pretty sweet, but yeah, that's me. That's what I've been doing. What have you been doing? Something good, I hope. I will talk to you again very soon. Hopefully, give you more updates on the video if you're interested in it. And um, just thanks for being here. Thanks for sticking around.